Hi, I'm Gary Bouton, and welcome to the last Zarazone video tutorial of 2013. You know, around this time of year, it gets me to thinking about how we used to go down to Grandma's, and she was a fantastic cook, like all Grandma's are. And she always had at least one apple pie, perhaps two, that she'd bring out to the table. And she'd say to my brother, how much do you want? And he'd say something like 22.7 degrees, and she'd smack him silly for a while. Fortunately, no one's going to smack anyone silly this Christmas because I'm going to show you right now how to make a pie wedge in Zara that's 22.7 degrees or 54.17 degrees or 98 degrees. And I think we might even have time for me to show you how to make a pie chart. So come on, it's going to be fun. To begin this month, go to zarazone.com forward slash tutorials. Scroll down the page, click on the downloads button to download this month's zip archive, unpack it on your system, and get ready to load it in Zara. In a new document, open the page and layer gallery, expand it, and click on the Guides layer to select it. Choose the Ellipse tool, hold Control, and drag a perfect circle mm, about 4 inches in diameter. This is the first part of the pie slice template. With the circle selected so you can see the center mark, pull a horizontal guide down to the exact center. Now drag a vertical guide to the exact center. Now we want to be exact with this, so you can zoom in and do a little refining to make sure that those crosshairs are at the center of the circle. Now what I want you to do is to lock the guides layer and choose the background layer to work on. Let's choose the shape tool and make sure it's in line mode and cusp. Click a point in the center and drag it out to the outside of the circle in the template. Now with the line selected, Click it again so you can see the rotational center and pull the rotational center to the center of the guides template. Press Ctrl K to clone this. Now we're going to make this pie slice 28.7 degrees, so type that in and hit enter. Now we have the original and the baseline. What you need to do is to select both lines and take the end point of those both lines and connect it with the selector tool. So with the selector tool chosen, you probably want to go to wireframe view and you'll see a plus sign when the two lines are connected and the uh, status line on the bottom of the page confirms that. Choose the shape tool and what you want to do is uh, with them selected close the wedge. It is now 28.7 degrees but it's a triangle it's not a pie shape. So we unlock the guides layer press control C go to the background layer select that Press Control Shift V to paste it. Select both objects and choose Intersection. Uh, that's the shortcut is Control 3. Now, I expect what you really want to do is test the validity of this 28.7 degree uh, pie slice. So, what we're going to do is create the inverse of this. We subtract 28.7 from 360 degrees. If my math serves me correctly, the inverse of this pie wedge here is going to be 331.3 degrees. So what we want to do now, let's uh, color this slice red, is to uh, go get the shape tool again. You know the drill. Click and drag a line to the top of that shape. Press Ctrl K to clone this line, put it in rotation mode, move the center of rotation to the center of the circle, and then what you want to do is go up to the rotate field, type in 331.3, and what it did was a, a total counterclockwise around. Let's skip ahead a little bit and consider these two lines joined as you did before with what is the red slice now. What I want you to do is to select those two lines, select the shape tool, and what you're going to do is create a number of line segments outside of the circle line. Now this is a little bit hard to see because uh, your new shape adopted the last used color. However, what you have is a uh, large shape that is the inverse of the first pie wedge that you drew. Now let's copy and paste the circle from the guides onto this layer 
and select both the circle and the shape you drew and let's intersect control 3 and we'll give it a different color so you can see the result and I think this proves that uh, we can do the inverse mathematically as well as the pie wedge. Right now I'd like you to open the pie chart all tricked out Zara file and I'm going to show you now why it's a good idea to create a precise wedge point using your starting point at 90 degrees. The 119.7% line, if you measure it this way, you get a very wrong result. But, let's try it again. I'm going to take this 119.7 wedge, put its center of rotation in the center of the circle, and move its top edge so it aligns with that dotted line in this document. Now, if I take any one of these lines, put the center of rotation in the center of the circle, and then zero it at the dotted line, and then move the line to the end of that wedge. It says 120 degrees, I got 119 the first time, so that's pretty darn correct. Now when you're creating a pie chart, the other thing I want to show you is how to convert degrees to percentages. If I divide 158.2 by 0.27, that's your magic number, it will give you the percent which is 43.9 or 44% if we round it off here. I arrived to that magic number 0.277 by dividing 100, 100%, 100 by 360. There are 360 degrees in a circle. Magic. Okay, enough precision. It's time to do some artwork. What I want you to do is to slice up what you see on screen as the blue uh, pie wedge into smaller shapes. So what you do is you click a line starting in the center and let's give it a different color so we can see here. What you do is you select that and the big pie wedge and press control 4 and that uh, is the command for slicing objects. So now you've got another slice as you can see here. And I want you to repeat the process until you have uneven pie slices. And then I'm going to show you something really cool in just a moment. So start your, uh, start your work at the center of the circle. Select both and choose Slice Objects. Again, that's Control plus 4. Now I want you to open the Pie is Done file. And I'm going to show you how to match extrudes with the Extrude tool. Extrude the red shape or whatever shape. Press Control C when you've got the edge selected, so you've copied it. Go back to your other piece and press Control Shift A to paste attributes. Now you have a duplicate of the thing at right. Select the blue piece, give it an extrude, and then with the edge selected, press Control Shift A. And again, this is in perfect perspective with the, uh, with the original piece, but it's the wrong color because we pasted all the attributes. So I think what you want to do now is to go to your color line, Left click a swatch to set the color of the face of the extrude. Shift left click to set the side color. So that's how I did the piece at right. And I spent a fair amount of time illustrating this so it looks more like glass than plastic. Um, I think this took about four hours. But what I've arrived at is basically your pie wedge, what you've done. And I've used the percentages and everything to create this pie chart. And this is just a little design thing. If you uh, need to make a graph, a pie chart, that's attention getting. I think you have the tools now. Well, that's about it for this tutorial and 2013. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and a very happy 2014. I'll see you then.